smoke left over from the debris, debris, their soot. It's difficult to breathe. People ran into nearby office buildings once they got out of the danger zone just to be able to breathe. I'm on a payphone on the street right now, and I literally cannot see more than a quarter block away. That's how thick the smoke is. I'm on Murray Street and West Broadway, for those who know Lower Manhattan. Not clear now is why this uh, explosion took place. Was uh, it because of the, uh, the planes that uh, two planes dual attacks this morning? Or was there some other attack which there has been talk of here on the street? But I can tell you this, that uh, the police have moved people back and it's going to be a long time. Yeah, David, uh, we are looking at the replay of what happened that you're describing. It happened just moments ago. It sure appears that the building simply collapsed Hello? based... Yeah, David, if you're, if you're still with us, please keep on the line. It, it appears that the building simply collapsed of its own weight, that there was so much damage uh, from the heat of the fire. Uh, as I said, steel will melt. The, the second... That was the, the, the building that was hit by the second plane. The, the plane that we actually saw hit the building live during our coverage. Uh, that is the building that has just collapsed. Now, it, it bears noting that that plane seemed to come in at a lower altitude. It hit the building lower down, and there was that tremendous fireball. So the damage to the building uh, came at a point where there is much more weight on top of it, and those steel girders, strong as they are, had a lot of weight to support, and apparently, I'm, just, uh, I'm not a structural engineer, but I'm, I'm just guessing now that they gave way. The loss of life here is going to be enormous. May, may uh, God help those who are there and the victims and their families uh, and all the souls that are lost today. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that virtually every family in America is going to be touched by this, uh, by this disaster. This is what the uh, terrorists back in 1993 tried to accomplish when they uh, drove a uh, van laden full of bombs into the garage. Uh, and apparently they were successful. John? Let me bring in the former governor of New York, Mario Cuomo. He's with us by telephone now. Governor, what's your reaction? That's the only thing I can ask you. It's the same as everyone else is. Uh, everybody now is, is holding their breath and measuring the extent of the tragedy as it grows from moment to moment. And that will be the story, I'm sure, for the next uh, 24 hours is uh, how much damage was done. I think the, the longer range story is even more terrible. The longer range story is who did it and why. And if it were a nation, it would be easy to deal with, but it's not a nation. It'll be individual Excuse terrorists. Excuse me, a Governor, can you hold, hold on for just a second? From the tower, from right to left, I guess, west to east, and it just, everything just all of a sudden just imploded. I ran as fast as I could, went inside of a building about a block away. I stood in the building for a couple of seconds, and then all of a sudden the building started falling out, filling up with smoke. I was with a bunch of law enforcement officers. We couldn't get out of the building because everything was locked up. And then I came out, and everything was filled with ash, and it looks like I'm, looks like I'm in a surreal movie. Do you, do you know if it was an explosion or if it was a building collapse? To me, it sounded like, it, it, to me it sounded like an explosion, then, then the building, the rolling sound sounded like the building collapsed. Were, were there other people? There must have been a lot of people on the ground nearby when it happened. Oh, mo where that happened, there was mostly law enforcement. I don't think there were many uh, civilians there. I don't know. Don't move, Pat. How, how many people would you say were on the ground when the, uh, when the building exploded or collapsed? Law enforcement, there were, I don't know. Over on that corner there, I don't know. There might have been. There might have been 100, 150, I don't know. What's your, what's your full name, officer? Police Officer Gronowski. All right, well, thanks a lot. Good luck. Folks, you're, you're looking at live pictures on the left of your screen. On the right of your screen, the uh, tower, one of the twin towers of the World Trade Center. There's, there's thick ash on the ground, lots of it. Pandemonium here a short time ago. When the building did collapse or whatever it was that happened, it was a huge explosion, a huge rumbling cloud of smoke and fire came across Church Street and then started billowing this way. And all we saw was, was people, were people running in this direction. Everyone, law enforcement people, a woman pushing a baby carriage. This is actually, a, we believe, debris from one of the planes that hit one of the towers on the World Trade Center. The FBI is here, as you can see. They had roped this area off. They were taking photographs and securing this area just prior to that huge explosion that we all heard and felt. We, uh, we'll try and talk to some of these guys.
Can you tell me what you saw, what you heard? So nothing. You all right? Yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> Where were, where were you, sir, when that happened? Right on the street. <laughs> what did you see? What did you hear? It felt like another plane coming. Everybody took cover to run. We ran down the subway, but the dust followed us down there. Were there, there a lot of people in the subway? Uh, no, not that many, because they already had evacuated before. Did you see people, anyone in danger, anyone getting hit when this? Not back there, yeah, but I was running. I mean, there was nothing you can do because you just saw the thing coming right over. Have you seen, were you able to see the tower after? No. What do you mean, since it happened now? Since well, the fire? Look at this guy, look at this guy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The streets have been shut down. Uh, there was very little traffic on the streets except for emergency vehicles going one way or the other. So there was not a lot of vehicle traffic in this area. But there were a lot of pedestrians on almost every single corner taking photographs and, and just looking at the building, which was still smoking and still on fire. A lot of police there officers at the back. officials up there that were right near the building. Where were you when the explosion occurred, when the plane hit the building? I was, uh, I saw it from my office, as a matter of fact, down the Lower East Side. So you came here? Yes. To, to check it out? Help. No, what, what do you mean? To see if we can help, but this is... Uh... Yeah. This poor woman. Wow. Rick Leventhal is the one reporting on the, the ground. He's not able to hear me at this moment. Uh, but Rick... Just the, just the sound of a plane. Star jets, star jets. Star jets. All right. What, what are you guys doing right now? What's your... What's your assignment what's your assignment help people are there a lot of injured the uh the, the dust is still thick in the air with what that guy is covered with is, is this stuff that's all over the street just thick soot ash just came roaring down here in a huge cloud from the world trade center you see just the, the survivors, if you will. Are you able to talk? Can we just talk to you about what happened? I was by Sam on exploded. You were right there at the building? Yes, sir. I'm able to try. You're right. Come here. A lot of people trapped. EMT. This guy needs help. Rick Leventhal is not able to hear me, but from his vantage point on the ground, I think it's not clear to him What's fairly clear I mean, to us, like here. our vantage point from the helicopter, that the to top to of like Tower here. 1, One World Trade Center, has literally here? crumbled. How I can't guess right? how many floors, perhaps 30, perhaps 40. Itself is, what, I think 107 stories tall, Tower 1 and Tower 2, uh, one in the south end, one in the uh, north end. Uh, it appears that the plane, the first plane that hit, hit the one in the north end. Uh, that has the uh, the restaurant, Windows in the World upstairs, and then the South Towers appears to be the one that was hit uh, the second time. That has the observation deck. Uh, that is a uh, is a obviously popular tourist attraction uh, for, for for people. So clearly, as we see, a pandemonium. But uh, you know, the uh, John, the uh, FBI, and the uh, New York City Police Department have the Joint Terrorist Task Force. They have uh, obviously experience with this. They were able to solve. Uh, the others, and I'm confident, and we should be confident that. Let, let's go to Brian Wilson now. He is he's at the uh, in Washington. Brian, uh, 